Hey guys, this is Adam from Mikanto Product Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a demo of Virtual Studio Simulator. On the right here, you can see my product review for Virtual Studio Simulator, and it's accessible below this video. Um, there's a link below this video in which you will see my review page, and if you purchase through any of the links on my review page, you're going to receive some pretty awesome bonuses as shown on the page. Or, as always, you can substitute your own products instead of any or all of the bonuses shown above by going through this link. And that's all we're going to say about the bonuses. Now, I just want to um, make a few things known about Virtual Studio Simulator before we get into the demo. First of all, what is it? It's a, uh, it's a product that allows you to include green screen and studio backgrounds to your videos, making a great impression on your viewers. This is a very professional effect, as you can see here. This is Todd in front of a green, uh, green screen. Now, the original doesn't have this little Virtual Studio Simulator logo on the left. I put that in the image. Um, so to give you an idea of what it would actually look like, you can take a look at these three images here. And these are different studio backgrounds. Now, this is Todd from the same video, original video. And he's putting himself in front of three completely different backgrounds. Now, with Virtual Studio Simulator, as you will see in a moment, you get a lot more than three different backgrounds to choose from. But I just want to kind of point that out. Now, this one very important thing to point out that a lot of people haven't really mentioned, and I'm kind of surprised by that, um, this is basically... You're, basically what you're getting is a bunch of resources and templates. It's not a software, it's not a video editing software by itself. It's basically you download these templates for backgrounds, uh, studio backgrounds, green screens, music, PowerPoint slides, and then you plug those into a video software such as Camtasia Studio, which I'm going to use in this demo. Sony Vegas Adobe After Effects Video Motion Pro or in PowerPoint as well. So here's the thing you might be thinking, well, these are all paid products. Most of us honestly have, most of us in internet marketing honestly have at least one of the above products. But if you do not have Camtasia Studio, for instance, contact me directly. I'll help you get that set up without spending any money. Don't worry about that but you do have to purchase um, Virtual Studio Simulator through my review page if I'm going to give that up to you. Um, just consider that another bonus. So with that said, let's get into this product. I'm going to log in to my members area and show you a couple things here. As you can see the menu bar up top, if we go over to the downloads area, we can see two different pages of Virtual Studios that you can download and use with your videos. I'll kind of just breeze through these here. These are all different studios that you can use, okay? So that's that's one thing you get. There's more than this, but I don't want to show each and every one of them when we're really here to see the demo. You also get accessories, which I want to show you because this is really cool as well. We're talking like, um, you know, d uh, studio desks and things like that. First thing that comes to mind for me when I look at this desk is ESPN. You know, imagine yourself and a colleague sitting at this desk in a video, and you're not really, but your bodies are literally there, and it looks as natural as it can possibly be. You've got studio lights, lower thirds. I mean, this is just highly professional elements that you can now add to your videos without being a professional or hiring one. So there's that. What else do we have? Audio downloads. These are like music backgrounds. There's a lot of those. Um, animated backgrounds instead of still images you can use an animated backgrounds as well I'll show you those and also outros which are great for YouTube now I'm sure you've watched YouTube videos whether it's your competitors or just YouTube videos in general and at the end of the YouTube videos you'll notice kind of an outro animation where you know I even have one myself where it says uh, thanks for watching click the link below to download um, or to get my bonuses or something like that so here's different outros you can use. Cinematic, uh, you got the basic YouTube outro, video PowerPoint frames, and all kinds of good stuff here. Single screen outro frame where your outro would appear in that frame, and then you got the curtains in the background. 
And then also you have the animated background. So I'll just show you that and then we'll get into the demo. So there you go. Imagine these are all animated, the space effects. Okay. And one more thing actually, I'll just mention that there are tutorials for absolutely everything here. So you don't, and you're probably thinking right now, well, how the hell do I know how to implement this stuff? Well, here you go. I'm actually using these as well to know how to um, integrate these templates with Camtasia. And they're very easy to follow. Here's a really cool one, how to add the Superman effect to any video, obviously cutting yourself out onto any background. So let's get into the demo. All right, so we're back inside the members area. And what I'm going to do is download a couple virtual studio backgrounds. And I'm going to bring those into Camtasia using a random video that I downloaded with the background and I'm going to remove that background from the video and insert one of the uh, studio backgrounds that we download instead. Um, so first of all I'm going to pull a couple from this page one here. I'm trying to remember what my video looks like and which backgrounds would suit that video best. So I'm going to grab this one here, download now, so I have the zip file, I have to extract that in a moment. And then we're going to look on the other page. And let's see what we have here. Maybe uh, use this futuristic corner studio as well. So I'm going to download that, again a zip file. So I'm going to go in and unzip these into my folder and come right back. Okay, now we're inside of Camtasia Studio on, working on a new project. Here are the two backgrounds that I've downloaded. I'm just going to drag them into my Camtasia clip bin one at a time. And what I have here is just a few different things. Very simple. We have the video that I've downloaded. This is going to be your if you've ever used Photoshop, it's kind of similar to that. This is going to be your front layer. So you want this guy's head or face and body to appear in front of everything else that we put into this, uh, whatever you want to call this area down here. So in other words, now let me do a little cutting on the original video first. All I really need is a small area. So in other words, if we want this to be the immediate background, I'm going to drag that underneath the video and it'll be our next layer. And as you can see right now, this is where the overlap is. Right now we cannot see the studio background because of the back, uh, sorry, the black background which is in front of everything. And that's what we're going to remove in a moment. I'm also as you can see in our background, there's room for us to add images into these little frames. So I've grabbed a picture of uh, professional basketball player Stephen Curry. And what I'm going to do here is place his image inside one of the um, frames. Oops, moving the wrong one there. So let's make sure. Oh, crap. Got to get a hang of that. All right, let's try that again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe if we, uh, let's see if we move it up. Not sure if that'll help. All right, let's try to do this very carefully. Okay, making sure I am in the right area here. And I'm just going to fit it right into that frame like so. All right. And there you have it. Okay, so you get the idea. I, would, I normally might add two more images here. This is a still image background. You might have animated backgrounds where these reels kind of move along as the video plays. But for now, this is going to be our background, but we can't see it yet because 
of this layer. Okay, so here's what we do to remove the background very easily with Camtasia Studio. I'm going to click on this layer to make sure it's active. Go to Visual Properties, remove a color. We're going to click on the shade that we want to remove, which is in this case black. Then we're going to want to go down to Select Color, which turns our cursor into an eyedropper. And you just select the shade of the background that you want to remove. So, for example, if I clicked his white shirt, I'm going to remove whites. I don't want that. So I'm going to click black. And while you don't see anything immediately, let's see what happens when we move our background to the left. There you go. Over to the video. And that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now here's what else we can do. First of all, let's fit everything to the length of our video. And we can also change the size of our guy here to make it more fitted to the video, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, there we go. Again, just make sure you're on the, the right edges of your frame. You know, and you might have them talking in the center. I don't know, something like that, right? So you let it go, and as we play it back, let me actually mute it just because, or I guess I can let the audio run. Here we go. Like this is that because it's solid, it's a solid color, it eliminates distractions, and it drives the focus of the viewer onto me, the speaker. So isn't that really cool, guys? This is the first time I have ever reproduced this studio effect. I am by no means a professional, but that's how easy it was for me to do this. And you can absolutely do it too with Virtual Studio Simulator. Now this is a very affordable product. Let's go over it real quick. I'm going to show you my review page one last time because this is where you will want to go to get the best price, first of all. And secondly, you will qualify to get the free bonuses shown on my review page if you purchase through that page, this page that we're looking at. Again, you're going to see it linked below the video. And these are all the bonuses that come with uh, Virtual Studio Simulator. If you purchase through this page, again, you may choose any bonuses to replace any or all of the products shown here, the default products, if you don't like them for any reason, or if you simply would benefit more from different types of products, you know. I've got all kinds of selection there. So select your products, then follow these three steps to claim your bonus, and you are set. So that's really about it. Um, I'm probably going to do some additional demos with Virtual Studio Simulator for one thing because it's really fun to use. You know, I've, I've personally never been able to do anything like this before. Um, it just it's so clean it looks so great and I can't wait to make all of my video marketing campaigns with these studio backgrounds um, you know ab above all when people see that you have a video like this it's going to increase your video marketing profits because anytime you're presenting something that's more professional it usually comes with more trust from your viewers they see that you're not just an amateur, right? And that tends to come with trust. So, and even engagement as well. People will spend more time watching the videos. So keep that in mind. And that's, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna leave it at that. And I just wanna thank you for taking the time out to watch this demo. And hopefully you have found a cool program that you can use in Virtual Studio Simulator. That said, have a great day.